Hi, everybody. Oh, sorry. Hi, everybody. <laughs> it is J J Jade. Jessica, um, book rock goddess. Jade Artistic Word Lush. And we are here to do a book haul. Oh, our first, is this our first book haul for March? Yep. Yes. Our oh, I can first do that. I'm playing with my hair. Goofy. This is our first book haul for March. What did we do in March before? Nothing. We did something. I forget what it was. We didn't do anything. I know much. I did something for Miss. We did our re our TBR. Oh yes, our, our two to be red pile. Yes, we do. We still have to do our wrap up, and we will do our wrap up. Um, it probably won't be today because I have to go through, and she has to go through. Holy her crap! Up. That's what creepy. we read. I Sorry, <laughs> she's looking at one of my books. We um one of the books we've read all the books we read for February so they'll probably be done in a day or two okay. so but I let's got, get started because we got a few Lauren Barnholtz Two Way Street um I read her witch series and they're like little short short books they're like 50 60 pages a piece and they're on the e-reader and I love them there's like what 13 books. Yeah, there's right quite now, a few. And they are awesome. I love them. So I was like, I've never read any of her contemporary, so I figured I'd give it a try because those are so good. And this is um, A Road Trip with Her Ex, Danger Ahead. So, Ooh, and I like that sounds like good. Yeah, although her ex looks kind of ugly. <laughs> okay, one of my first books is um, Starters by Lisa Price. <coughs> <laughs> you alright? This yep. is the one she said, oh, wow. She thought this was a strange looking book. Her eyes are two different colors. She's just ghostly. Okay. I didn't realize it was already out. Um, I have. I thought it didn't come out for a few more days because I am actually reading this on NetGalley, but I found it at Schuler's Bookstore and today. And I said, I ha or no, not Schuler's. I saw it at Walmart the other day. And I had to have it, so I bought it. And it is because I knew just from what I've read so far that it's an awesome book and you guys should check it out. But it's a debut novel for 2012, so it goes for my challenge, so I had to have it. So even though, you know, my band is slacking here, I was, but I'm still sticking with the fact that I'm only getting signed and okay. brand new ones. So I'm still doing yeah, good. Her band just it ain't happening. I'm doing good. Uh huh. My butt. I got a touch. <laughs> I got a touch mortal by Leah Clifford today, um, because we went to her signing, and it says, "Stay mortal" by Laura Clifford. Right? Leah, Flora. Why did I say Laura? Oh, I didn't even pay wow. attention to what you were saying. Wow, it's Leah first. Clifford. Sorry. Dirt Jade. Okay, moving on. She's a little tongue tied. <laughs> okay. Um, I got Illuminate by Amy Agresti so and the cover is gorgeous on this book and I've heard some really really good things about it and you know me in covers so I've I just had to get it and it's also a 2012 debut so I didn't break my band so because I said only 22 you know debut novels and my signed books so I'm really really excited about this one and I also got this one at the signing today so. Mom was awesome and bought me um, Maria V. Schneider's Inside novel. It's got both Inside Out and Outside In in it, and it's her dystopian book for YA. So I can't wait to read this because she is my favorite author. She's just awesome. Yes. Mm, so sorry. she had to have the binder. <laughs> so now she's kissing books. Oh my goodness. Hey, crazy. I'm not like. Gabriella Carolina, I didn't lick it, so we're all good. Oh, that's so gross. <laughs> she licked her book the other day. Well, at least it looked like she licked her book the other day. It was kind of funny, though. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sure it was Just funny. Just she likes them a little more than I do, I guess. <laughs> I guess so. A little weird. Okay, mm -hmm. my next book, and I've been dying to get this, it's Embrace. And I believe this is also 2012. It's by Jessica Shiverton. Shiver Shiverton. Shiverton? Yeah. And I've been dying to get it ever since I Shervington. saw it. Shervington. Shervington. Um, I don't know if she's considered a 2012. I think she is, but I know she's had stuff on ebooks, so I'm gonna have to check with Christy. But I'm pretty sure because Christy put this on one of our lists. Well, if it was I'm on an ebook. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I know it doesn't. So I'm just gotta I gotta double check and see. But I'm excited about it. And now for the most amazing book that I've been waiting for for like ever. I got it the day it came out, or at least the day after, anyway. And that is Pandemonium by Lauren Oliver. I am not a very big dystopian fan, 
but unless it's, if it's got something to do with love, I want to read it. And this, these series, this series is going to be, oh, just, oh, that's all I can say. Yeah, Although, I, I do like the old covers it. better with the chicks on it. Now it's just kind of this funky, orange, nasty color. But I can deal. <laughs> as long as the story's good. <laughs> yeah, that's the main point. Um, my next is another 2012 debut. And it's by Dan Wells, and it's Partials. And I love science fiction. And this is, like, one of those things that is just going to, I just know will blow me away because... The back says, when our ancestors were attacked at Pearl Harbor, they called it a day that would live in infamy. The, di the day the partials attacked us with the, the RM virus will not live in anything because there will be no one of, no one, none of us left to remember it. Maybe I should have read that. You should have probably read sure. it. The light is glaring. I got tired. We've been really, really running today. Yeah, I had a test this morning, and then I got dressed at 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> um, I'll tug tight. The, the book signing was from 1 to 4. Ugh, it's been a long day, but a, a fun day. We've had See, a blast. I don't have that book, but okay. I thought you did. I, know, we'll I got Prior's Cross by Lisa McMahon. Again, your mother's awesome. <laughs> yes. Sure. Okay. <laughs> the smaller the town, the bigger the secret. And it says some secrets have the power to bury you. So, I mean, it's not very big, and I do like the Wake series, so I'm going to read this. That I did read, and it is really, really good, and I don't, um, it's usually not my typical type of book, but I the enjoyed, I like, Lisa, it. I like Lisa McMahon a lot. Um, for some reason, her books just grab me, and I read them like that. They're awesome, and that was really, really good. Okay, my next one is Witch Eyes by Scott. Tracy, and um, I'm really excited to read this. I also it is signed, so I'm super 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 excited about this one. So yeah, so I look for a review soon because I know it's probably gonna be on. I think it's gonna go with my April or May books to be read. Okay, let's see. Got the catastrophic history of you and me, and I hear that this book is amazing and cover snob. It is beautiful. So I wanted to read it anyway. So, I mean, you can't really tell in the thing. But it's got like this shimmery glow to it. Yes, it's, it's also really a 2012. I'm pretty, well, is, is it? Isn't it 2012? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's I'm pretty sure it is. And it says, Dying of a Broken Heart, it's just the beginning. Welcome to forever. Who's the author? It is Jess Rosberg. I wasn't done talking. I'm sorry, but I, I wanted to see. There. I No, I was trying to ask you because I was trying to think of if she's a 2012. And I think she is. I'm pretty, pretty sure. Okay, my next book is The Space Between. And I really, really liked The Replacements, which is right here. Which we don't have, which is really depressing. Well, I actually listened to it on audio. And that's why we don't own it, because I listened to it on the audio. And then I, I just never it. bought it, and I don't know why. But it's a really, really, really good book, and I really enjoyed it. Um, so I'm really looking forward to um, Brenna Yovanoff's the space between so and the cover is awesome um the pictures on the um on the net and stuff didn't even do it justice it is just gorgeous it's all the little and stuff. yes it's embossed the chair and everything and the details are amazing and i know a lot of people have read it and i haven't but i've been living under a rock so <laughs> okay. and i've read a lot of other things Ooh. so yay mom bought me why we broke up i got it from the library and i was halfway through it and i thought it was flipping awesome and then she came home with me she came home and she got this for me and I was extremely excited this book is like the it bible is so heavy. <laughs> I mean it's like as heavy as the bible I tell you but it it's is really awesome really it's just heavy. a type of paper but it's got pictures throughout it and it's really cool and I really really like this book and it's by Daniel Handler who is the author of who is actually Lemony Snicket so it's actually a really really good book I really like it yes we're excited. oh and this beautiful I love that. That is a gorgeous cover. You don't and it's even not need... real petals. It's it's painted petals. It's just awesome. The thing you don't even need the dust jacket on this one because it's so pretty. But anyways, my next one is I got this today and it's a touch morbid, and um, I got it signed by Leah Clifford, of course, and because from her signing, and um, it says stay morbid, and I love that. I love that. It was cool. So this one was really great. Um, and of course, I've got her to sign my A Touch More Mortal, so I was really, really excited about that one, too. And it says, 
thanks for saying hi and so and she signed that to me so it was really cool she's really really nice if you guys like I said before if you guys get a chance check her out she's awesome um, she's super super nice and I'm sure she'd like to drop you guys a line back or whatever so but that's about it for a book haul and I'm gonna go play with my hair she's yeah she's gonna go play with her hair and I'm gonna get out of this get up so see you guys next time next next probably Sunday Monday we'll have our, or maybe Tuesday depending on her work schedule um, and mine it have to be yeah well <laughs> we'll get um, our next book haul and our next um, uh, our wrap up. Yes, our wrap up for February. I knew it was something. I told you I'm tired, people. See you later. Bye. Bye.